the next time that Kang the Conqueror or any of the Council of Kangs will be mentioned will be never, according to brand new reports. Marvel Studios is just essentially gonna pretend that the character never existed and be like, here's Doctor Doom, look at him. He's the big bad multiverse threat in the multiverse saga. How will Marvel Studios deal with the Kang Dynasty and Kang? By never mentioning him again, apparently. Not only are they going to be like, oh yeah, Doctor Doom, he's the new big bad. He uh, took care of whatever problem was happening. Apparently, they don't even want to mention Kang by name. They don't want to show him again. They don't want to show Doctor Doom defeating an army of Kangs or anything like that. And again, reportedly, this is just rumors, they're just literally going to have Doctor Doom show up being like, Yep, I took care of that threat. Anyways, I'm the real threat. That was just like, don't worry about that thing. Don't mention it again. Cool. Thumbs up. Here I am. The Doom Dynasty starts. So wow, Kang gets the Chris Benoit treatment, huh? The moment he is gone... You cannot mention that name again, we scrub it from the archives. Now, honestly, if this is how they handle it, I think that this is pretty dumb and lazy. Like, you were setting up Kang as the big bad. He's the central character of two seasons of Loki. You can't just ignore that. You can't not mention him again. You can't leave the giant council of them all coming together about to attack the multiverse. That's not how it works. So... I don't fully believe these reports. I think you will see Kang. And as I said, when I talked about it in the video of how they will deal with Kang, I legitimately think they tackled this with Doomsday opening up and Doctor Doom just ripping the multiverse apart from all the Kangs. Essentially attacking the Council of Kangs with Doom bots and leaving them all in pieces, literally destroying all of them. Then he finally sits on like, Kang's main throne, takes off the mask, and then Avengers Doomsday, right? And then we cut to the Avengers reforming, and then Doom is coming, and yada yada yada. Maybe one Kang escapes, it's Iron Lad, he warns them, you know, something like that you could do. You know, kind of repeat some of the Infinity War with Hulk escaping. Something like that I think would kind of have to happen, or somebody in the multiverse season goes... Oh man, this is bad. Like, America Chavez could be a great driving force for that. So, I don't fully buy the report that Kang is just never going to be mentioned again. Because, um, that's going to be a major plot hole. You have to at least show them getting defeated. You can't just go, yep, we don't know what you're talking about. Because then that makes the entire ending of Endgame and the films after that, building up the multiverse saga and Kang, all the way till Doom, seem like it's pointless. It's pointless.